Learning Objectives In this chapter, the user would learn the following in detail. Basics of Electronic Mail Getting an Email Account Sending and Receiving Emails Accessing Sent Emails Using Emails Document Collaboration Instant Messaging and Netiquettes Basics of Email What is an Electronic Mail? Email is a method of exchanging digital messages designed primarily for human use. Email much the same as a letter only that is exchanged in a different way. Email is the transmission of text-based messages between network computer systems. Concept of Email Model Email systems are based on a store and forward model in which email computer server systems accepts, forward, deliver and store messages on behalf of users who only need to connect the email infrastructure, typically an email server, with a network enabled device, example a personal computer system for the duration of message submission or retrieval. Email addressing. Like a postal address, an email address specifies the destination of an electronic message. An internet email address looks like this. Username at domain name. The username is a unique name that identifies the recipient. The domain name is the address. Many people can share the domain name. Email is sent and received through electronic post offices known as mail servers. To read the email, the user must retrieve it from the mail server. Once the user enters the address of the recipient, compose the message and click send, the email software handles the delivery. If the message does not reach its destination the first time, the mail server sends it again. If the message is not delivered, the user usually receives a message explaining the problem along with the full text of the original message. The user can correct the problem, usually an incorrect email address and resend it. Email address of a user on the internet is similar to internet addresses except the protocol name is replaced by the username. Username at organization name dot organization type dot geography. Mail to username at organization name dot organization type dot geography. For example, abc at mailit dot gov dot in. Mail to abc at mailit dot gov dot in is an email address where ABC is the name of a user. A mail server maintains all the email addresses of an organization. Advantages of using email Managing email is easy. You can manage all your correspondence on screen and so can your customers. Your proposal can be answered, revised, stored and sent to others all without reams of paper involved. Email is fast. Email is fast mail delivered instantly from your office to anywhere in the world. No other method of delivery can provide this service. Timely buying and selling decisions can be made in a heartbeat. Email is inexpensive compared to telephone calls, faxes or overnight courier service. Email is less expensive. Email is easy to filter. The subject line on any email makes it easy to prioritize messages. The reader can identify critical correspondence quickly and deal with it immediately. Unlike regular mail which needs to be opened and reviewed or voicemail which requires you to either listen to or scan all your messages for those that require immediate attention. Transmission is secure and reliable. The level of security in transmitting email messages is very high and the industry continues to strive to develop even higher security levels. Email is private. Often telephone and fax messages are not. 
If the address information is correct, rarely does an email go astray. Fax machines can be out of order or out of paper and this prevents an important message from being delivered in a timely manner. Searching emails. The search box is at the top of your Gmail screen. Simply type the word you are looking for in the search box and click the magnifying icon. It searches every part of the message. Type some search terms in the Gmail search box and click search mail. To search for a message, your inbox will display your search results. You can click on an email to read it or you can try a different search. If you are still not finding what you are looking for, you can click show search options to perform an advanced search. Using emails. Opening email account. To send someone mail, you need to know his mail address. And you yourself should also have a mail address too. There are various websites like Google, Yahoo and Rediff Mail that are providing free email facility. Mail addresses are obtained when we click at sign up option in the home page of these websites. Similarly, if someone knows your mail address, he can send you mail. An email address identifies a location to which email messages can be delivered. Mail addresses are not case sensitive. The main rule everyone has to follow is that no two people can have the exact same address. Some invalid email addresses abc.example.com Character at the rate of is missing. abc.example.com A dot cannot be the last character in the name portion of a mail address abc.123 at example.com Two dots in succession should not be there in a mail address. a at b at c at example.com Only one at is allowed to be present in a mail address. Special characters should not be there in a mail address. Creating a Gmail account Gmail is a free search-based web mail service that combines the best features of traditional email with Google's search technology. Let's see how to create a Gmail account. Go to the Gmail homepage. Click Create an account link. The sign up form will appear. Fill the required information such as name, choose your username, password, gender, and birthday. Enter your mobile phone number if you wish. After fill out the type the text, select your location. Review Google's terms of service and privacy policy. Click the checkbox. Finally, click next step. Your account will be created and the Google welcome page will appear. Inbox Gmail messages are grouped into conversations so that all follow-ups and response appear as a single line in the user inbox. Inbox found on the left side of your Gmail screen. User's inbox can be interpreted and sorted using Gmail's inbox features very easily. Names of message senders are listed on the left. Unread messages are bolded in your message list. Control how elements in your Gmail page, such as your message list are displayed with density settings. Gmail displays snippets, which are lines of text next to each messages that reveal a bit of the content of the most recent message. In Gmail, messages are grouped into conversations so that all follow-ups and response appear as a single line in your inbox. The time or date of the most recent message in a conversation is displayed on the far right of the conversation line. Dates appear when messages are older than 24 hours. Use the checkboxes next to the sender's name. Then perform actions on those selected conversations using the buttons at the top. Archive, Report Spam, Delete, etc. Add stars to mark special messages or conversations. If you want to see the messages you have starred, deleted, sent, etc., 
click on the labels on the left hand side of your Gmail page. Draft. As you write a message, Gmail automatically saves a draft of it. This way you can always step away from your inbox and finish a message later. Drafts represent unsent messages with the draft system label applied. The message contained within the draft cannot be edited once created, but it can be replaced. If you want to find a draft of a message you were in the middle of writing, click drafts along the left side of any Gmail page. If you no longer need your draft, just click the discard draft icon at the bottom of your compose window icon. Sending an email in Gmail. The user should log in to his mail account. Once he logged in, the list of incoming emails would be displayed on the screen. The user would also find a compose link in the pane on the left screen. The following steps will help to send email through Gmail. Click the compose button. A new message opens near the lower right of your Gmail window. Type the email address of the message recipient in the To field in the new message window. More than one recipient can be added. Use CC carbon copy for additional recipients. Usually added for awareness rather than action. And BCC blind carbon copy. These recipients will be concealed from others to add additional recipients. Add a subject to explain the purpose for your message. In the body field, type your message. When you are ready to share your message, click send. The user will see a confirmation at the top of the window that the message was sent. How to reply in Gmail? To reply to Gmails that has been received by a user, one has to follow the steps given below. At the bottom of the page, click the reply link. If the message was sent to multiple recipients, the user will also have the option to reply to all. Here, the sender's mail address would be automatically reflected in the recipient's field. Enter the reply message in the content box. When the user finishes composing, click the send button to send the email. The user will see a confirmation at the top of the window that the message was sent. Forwarding an email message. To forward emails that has been received by you have to follow the steps given below. At the bottom of the message, click forward link. Enter the recipient's email address. Enter a message if necessary in the content box. When you finish composing, click the send button to send the email. You will see a confirmation at the top of the window that the message was sent. The original mail received by you would now be forwarded as it is to the new recipient. Document Collaboration Collaboration is defined as working jointly on an activity or project. Document collaboration is how you share data in a consistent manner so it can be retrieved, reviewed, approved and audited by authorized individuals. This means that your success in using document collaboration depends on selecting tools that provide a secure way to upload, find and review documents and then involving others in the review process. Document and file collaboration are the tools set up to help multiple people work together on a single document to achieve a single final version. Commonly used document collaboration software Google Docs, FileCamp, Bitrix24, Box, Dropbox, EXO Platform, SharePoint, Team Lab, Zay Porter, Workshare. Instant Messaging Using Instant Messaging Instant messaging is a type of online chat which offers real-time text transmission over the internet. In web forums, instant messengers and online games, text emoticons are often automatically replaced with small corresponding images, which came to be called emotions as well as. An emoticon or smiley is a textual expression representing the face of a writer's mood or facial expression. For example, 
they are often used to alert a responder to the tenor or temper of a statement that can change and improve interpretation of plain text. Basic smileys. This smiley is used to inflect a sarcastic or joking statement since we can't hear voice inflection over email. Winky smiley. User just made a flirtatious or a sarcastic remark. More of a don't hit me for what I've just said, smiley. User did not like that last statement or is upset or depressed about something. Instant messaging providers. Some of the popular and widely used instant messenger programs available are Windows Live Messenger, AOL AIM, Yahoo Messenger, Google Hangouts, and Skype. Netiquettes. Netiquette is a term derived from the words internet etiquette or network etiquette, which describes the use of proper manners and behavior online. Internet etiquette should be used in all areas of electronic means, including email, chatting, blogging, forums, and message boards, and so on. It is important to treat others with dignity and respect both on and offline. Email netiquette. There are netiquette rules for emailing, which are easy to follow once you know about them. These include little things like not typing in all uppercase or caps lock, as some people might think you are angry or yelling at them. And although most of us use emoticons when we are emailing friends and family, like smiley faces, sad faces and surprised faces, emoticons might not be acceptable for more formal emails. Also, it can be easy to forget that emails can be forwarded to other people, including people we don't know. If you are forwarding an email you receive from one person to other people, you should remove all the personal information about the sender, including their email address. That way, you are helping to keep their personal information private. Participating in online discussions and online consultations Another time to use netiquettes is when you are participating in online discussions. You can join online discussion forums and share information, ask questions and answer questions on almost any topic you can think of. You could also participate in online consultations. This is where organizations like government agencies ask you to use the internet to have your say on issues that affect you and your community. These online communities usually have their own rules and if people don't follow the rules, a moderator may step in. Moderators can give advice or warn users who are not following the rules. Moderators can even delete comments from discussion forums if they are inappropriate. Conclusion In this chapter, we have covered the following aspects of communications and collaboration. Basics of electronic mail Getting an email account Sending and receiving emails Accessing sent emails Using emails Document collaboration Instant messaging and netiquettes